Hey Leos, what's happening? This is kind of like a different angle, but I'm being creative with the tables that are out here, okay? I want to thank you guys so much for your support on my reading last month. I got a lot of Leo viewers and subscribers, so make sure to keep liking, sharing, subscribing. You guys are a big part of my fan base now, and I have so much gratitude for that, okay? So I'm going to get into, I feel like I just did your reading, but I'm going to get into the October reading for Leo, okay? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter, Fifth House. I, I always like forget the house of Leo, I don't know why, okay. So it's a little windy out here, I'm hoping that my cards don't fly all over because that will be a distraction. I've got Celebrate, okay? So some of you guys have something celebratory coming up, um, birthday, not for you but someone else. Um, unless you're a uh, leo moon and maybe you're a uh, libra sun um you're celebrating something some kind of victory okay i'm pulling from the when spirit speaks by the way we've got blessings okay so so far so good guys there's a sun there too so it's definitely like a leo energy with the sacral and the um the orange and the yellow for like the sacral chakra the solar plexus all that confident leo energy okay so I'm seeing good things so far. Lessons. I feel like maybe you guys had some harsh lessons, but I feel like you're moving past that, okay? You're kind of in this, like, you're done in this, like, learning school mode, okay? I feel like you're kind of just, like, on the other side of, like, the bad stuff. Timing. There's also a pregnant belly here, so I don't know if some of you guys are expecting. Um but also you know just remember everything's in divine timing if you're trying to get pregnant notice know that if you're having trouble that it's just not the right time okay and we've got envision so some of you guys are having you know um thoughts about the future and like what you want to manifest okay so I'm going to pull from the Mystic Moon Oracle deck and see what's going on with your current connection. I usually start off with that one, but I was being called to use that other deck. So I'm going to pull from Mystic Moon Oracles and see what we got for you guys. So far, so good, though. Um, the Envision and the Celebratory are also like a lot of colors. So I feel like things are bright got deception okay so let's see what that's about settling okay some of you might be dealing with a masculine that is deceiving himself in another connection I, is the vibe I'm getting admired okay but I do feel like he's looking at you from a distance and he's still kind of thinking like damn like I lost out on that I feel like you guys are in a really high vibration and this other person's kind of like in this low vibration is the feeling I'm getting if you guys are noticing signs lately, this is a sign that there are signs, okay? Um, just pay attention to numbers, um, animals, like butterflies, or anything that could be like a spiritual sign or just a song that you and your person shared. We've got balancing the scales, okay? So this is Libra season. You guys could be dealing with a Libra. This is also a justice system. There could be some marriage, legal matter, something legal that went on with you guys, okay? or karmic but also it could be that the person that you're dealing with is settling with their karmic partner because we got settling okay lovers was on the bottom of the radiant rider wave but i'm not going to take that yet let's see what the tarot has to say today got seven of wands okay some of you feel like you might be having to defend some stance queen of wands reverse Two of Cups reverse, Knight of Wands, and Seven of Cups, and the Emperor reversed. Okay, so I feel like your Divine Masculine is definitely not in his energy right now. You guys might have a lot of choices and a lot of things happening right now in your life. A lot of, I feel like you might be very overwhelmed, but we've got two sevens here. Okay, so there's some conflict going on. Um, We've got the Queen of Wands reversed, the Knight of Wands, and the Two of Cups, okay? So this could be you guys. It also could be maybe you're dealing with another fire sign, but we've got two fire energies and two of cups. So there is like um, a relationship situation that, oh yeah, the last reading I did for you guys was deception, okay? So we do still have some lingering 
deception where you're not still fully able to connect or trust this person. Um, Knight of Wands reverse is like you feel like they come in and out of your life and you can't really rely on them. They're kind of like a player type. And I feel like you maybe have lost like your passion and your zest for this relationship because you just feel like it's been so unstable. Like you feel a connection with this person, but you just don't feel like you could really rely on the connection, okay? That's the feeling I am getting. So I feel like you guys have other options too. And you feel like they have other options. That's the thing. It's like, yeah, we got strength reversed here. Okay, so this is a Leo card. You kind of feel like this bond isn't as strong anymore. I feel like this person kind of did something to um, King of Pentacles is on the bottom here. I feel like they did something to like really make you feel less of a connection with them, okay? I feel like it's still there, but I just feel like they kind of are the ones responsible for this tie that's kind of been tainted a little bit. Tainted love. But I also feel like with the Queen of Wands reverse, you could be very angry with them too. It could be this like passion and fire, but it's now like anger. <laughs> and then I just got forgiveness. Okay, so it might be that you need to forgive them. They might be coming forward and asking. I still feel like you guys have chemistry, but also I feel like that's something you're evaluating. Like, does this, do we still have chemistry, okay? The timing is not quite right. This is the second timing card I got. So I feel like timing is a big thing here. Um, I got that timing card in the beginning and then I just got weight. So maybe there's something that you want, but now is just not the right time, okay? So pay attention to the signs. They might give you some inclination of when the timing will be right i'm pulling from the signs from spirit love oracle and seeing what we got here circles contemplation oh completion sorry okay so this might be the end of a karmic cycle but i also feel like you guys might be feeling like you're going in circles with this partnership okay and you're like ready for it to be complete. We've got eyes revealing, okay? I don't know if this means anything to you guys. I feel like you're maybe when you're with them, you're trying to like look into their eyes and really find the truth. Or you feel like when you look into their eyes, you see the truth, but that's not the truth that they're displaying to you. I feel like um, in their eyes, you see your future, but you don't feel like they're owning that, okay? That's a really cool card. And we've got door, transition, okay? So some of you might be going through a really big transitional period. You might be completing, like I said. So I'm going to pull from another tarot deck and see what... Actually, I was going to use the silver witchcraft, but I'm going to use the tarot de la nu and see what other tarot messages I've got here. That eyes thing is like pretty intense. I feel like that's like where you connect. Maybe you guys, when you look in each other's eyes and that's like a twin flame kind of soulmate thing, you know, I don't have to tell you guys that. Uh, the hangman, Pisces, two of pentacles and eight of cups. We got another two card, choices, decisions, juggling. And like I said, you had the seven of cups before. I feel like you guys might be feeling like it's time to let this go to walk away or you might have feel like felt like at some point they walked away and you can't get over that and that's what you need to forgive but we've got the hangman so I do feel like this situation is sort of in this like on hold state I feel like you guys have to make a decision that's the feeling I'm getting so I'm gonna pull from the twin flame messages volume two and see what final messages they have for you okay leos what does this person want to say to leo i feel a special bond with you i've never felt before i feel like this is what you feel when you look in their eyes and it's like there's no one else that compares to that feeling i feel like and that's when everything kind of stops and all the bs from the past goes away and you're like wow this like really is my person but i'm just doing what i have to do right now okay so somebody feels like they have obligations and things that are keeping them from this connection i feel like and 
and I'm still trying to find myself. Yeah, I feel like the timing is maybe not right. I feel like one or both parties here is like not, they haven't found themselves and they haven't figured out what it is they really want and they've got a lot of options and they've got a lot of things going on. So Leos, that's the message I have for you. Thanks for tuning in. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.